Hey, late weights, and welcome back to some more Until Dawn. Um, last video, things started to really heat up in the creepy department. Um, so we have one couple going on their way to the cabin for a sexcapade adventure. Um, and we kind of left off with them uh, not knowing what's going on because there were some screaming and then we cut and we were back at the main cabin. So curious to see what's happening there, if it's anything or if it's just like, I don't know, tricking us or something. I'm not sure. It could be anything. Um, we had seen a sign with animals in the area, so maybe she was pretending that there was like a bear and that's what it's gonna be. Or maybe shit's already starting to go down. It could be anything. Okay, I don't know. Um, and then we were back in the main cabin in the basement in the boiler room. Not the boiler room, just fixing the boiler in the basement. And one of the other friends scared the bejeebies out of us and chased us up the stairs. So nothing really bad has happened yet, but it's definitely building the suspense. Um, I am excited to keep playing, although I am nervous. It is evening now when I'm recording. Typically I record this in the morning, so that makes it a little bit more spooky. And luckily I have lots of lights on in here, but I'm excited to keep playing and I hope you are excited for the video. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. And before we get into it, just like always, I would like to thank my channel members and patrons for making this video possible. Dan, Riley, Toth, Meat Wizard, James, Niall, Fantasy Hawkeye, Matt, Simone, Nathan, Roderick, Reagan, J Logic, Barry D, Patrick, Ronnie, Chance, Charlie, Jerzu87, Robert, Tom, Miggy, Rape, Jago, Kelvy, Shane, Heath, Artist Jack, Larry, Achille, Kazar CEO, and Peyton. All right, you guys, here we go. Does these Today little recap is the things. one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy of Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, and I'm thinking of them. Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. Boom. Butterfly effect. Excuse me? Did you say something? Oh, did you not hear me with your sluttiness? Stop it! Mike, why don't you check out the guest cabin, the one I told you about? Yeah. yeah, all right. Did you hear that? What in God's name are you wearing? Here's our one-way ticket to the spirit realm. I'll watch out for that, Josh. He's a schemer. Well, that's how it's gonna be. Yes? <coughs> yes! So, it says here, to communicate with the spirit world, you must free your mind of all preconceptions, drop all inhibitions, and generally give yourself over entirely to the will of others, sublimating your every desire to the whims of the spirit master, which is me. It doesn't say that. And all present will remove their garments at my sole discretion. Chris, come on, this is serious. Is it strip Ouija board? I am deadly serious. <laughs> oh, shush it. Let's try this. Yes, please. Let's not. Okay, then. Let's Can it that. osmosis through the screen? I don't need that juju. You're a recent convert, why don't you be Armenian for today? Okay, uh, is anyone there? Hello? Pick up the phone, spirit, spirit phone. Um, ring, 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 oh. ring, 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 ring. Banana if you phone. Hear my voice, give us a sign. Yeah, like a peace sign or a Guys, stop sign. You're not gonna take this seriously. Okay, okay. I thought we were just having there? A, trying to have fun. Wherever there is. Do I need to have your fingers on the thing? Oh yeah, there they go. <laughs> Wait a minute. Did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's moving again. <laughs> H? What's it spelling? Hold on. How's this happening? Are you moving it? I swear it's just moving. Holy shit. Help? 
how are we supposed to help? I don't know. What does it mean? We need to know who it is if we're supposed to help them. One of them is playing a joke. Who are you? Oh, here it goes. Okay, S. I. S. T. E. R. Sister. Sister? Whose sister? Oh, come on, is this for real? Shut up. Ask it whose sister. Josh, it's, it's gotta be. Yeah, okay, well. But which one you got two? Who is it then? Ashley, ask who it is. I feel like Hannah was the outgoing. Oh no, Hannah was the one who got the trick plate. I'm gonna go with Beth. I feel like Beth would be the one if it were her. Are we speaking to? If it were any Beth? of them, I'm not convinced it's Are not you? Chris. Oh God. <gasps> this is messed up. Josh. Are you? Fine. Are you sure? Because we can stop. No. Dude. It's cool. I want to hear what it says. I don't know where to start. Think about it. If, if this is actually Beth, I mean, we can find out what happened that night. Okay. How? Um, let me think. <laughs> That's uh, a lot. A loaded question to spell out what on a spirit board. That night. Can you tell us? H. It's spelling Hannah. We can still going. K I L L oh my god. Killed her. Guys, guys, what's she talking about? I don't know if I can keep doing this. We have to. Just 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 stay calm. I, I think it's saying that someone killed Hannah. I don't know. I just a ask it something else. I have goosebumps right now! <laughs> Way to harsh my mellow game. Why? Um, I mean, we know this, but okay. I don't think she's going to know who it is anyways. How was Hannah killed? L. I. B. The library. Maybe there's something in the library here? E. R. O. O. Proof. There, there's, there's proof. In the library? <laughs> Holy shit. Chris. You gotta end the session, end the session! What's going on? Listen, I don't know. I don't know if you think messing with me is somehow going to help me deal with my grief or whatever, but this is not cool. Josh, no! You wanted to use the spirit board! Hey, hey calm down. It's, it's not actually. I don't need this right now, okay? You guys are full of it. Should we go after him? Ah, man. I, I mean, he'll be okay. Let's. Okay, but Chris, for real, was that I don't you? Don't blame him. That was crazy. The pointer flew right off the table. And if, if you were faking it, if you were doing one hell of a job. I wasn't faking anything. I think we should do what it says. We should look in the library. <laughs> we need to end the session first, please. Yes? Yes! Okay, moment of truth. Is Jess faking it? Mike, come on now. Gotta be more agile than that. How could you possibly not leap over a log with snow covered on it so nimbly? How could you struggle through that? Hello? Okay, I'm just gonna make sure that yes. there's nothing. Where did you I know go? she's not here, but let's this just make sure there's nothing else. Not funny. I don't like this shit. Bumping up and down yes. in my little red tractor. Buddy. You in there? If you haven't noticed yet, I sing when I'm uncomfortable. Scared blue out of my jeans. <laughs> the fuck is that? Why why are we acting so nonchalantly about this? The fuck? Where did that Jessica? come from? Oh, come on. Jessica, I'm not okay with this. I don't I don't like this. Come out! Yeah, jerk face. Jess? Oh my lord. Hun? 
Light up my life. <laughs> oh! oh my god. No. <laughs> that was so good. No. no. <laughs> I wait, totally wait, wait, promise I won't. Jeff. I'm not like, seeing no, it. No, 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 no. You recorded that? <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> Jeff, you can't just jump out at somebody. I'm in the middle of the woods. It's scary. I'm sorry, dude. I'm scared. You. If we send that to My chest hurts. I'm <laughs> what? Gonna kill dude. you. Two jump scares in a row. Cute little lady like scream, Michael. <laughs> Guess you never really know someone until you scared the pants off of them. Mm, I want to be grumpy, but. As far as I can tell, my pants are still on. Oh, is that so? Yeah. Looks like you have Listen, to harder. Jess, if I shit my pants, you're the ones cleaning it up. So maybe you don't want to do that. You're about to feel the full force of my mind melting thrill skills. Um, excuse me, what is this? What? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy! What is this, yellow? Yellow's the good one, right? Who the hell's women? What? Oh. Oh! I was doing so well. Water wheel, I can't tell who that is. Shit. Aw, oh, man. Sadness. Excuse me. Which way am I supposed to be going? This way? I'm all turned around now. something oh my god I'm literally jumping on everything now there is a shadow it made me jump internally We had a, well, we have coyote in the area, and their screams are freaky. We had one. What? No. Bitch, stop talking. Hello? Someone there? And one night, there was one outside of our window, and it was doing its little screamy scream thing. It woke us up out of a dead sleep, and we don't have great lighting in our backyard. We have one, like, good light, but where the screaming was coming from, the light was not getting to, and let me tell you, I was pooping my pants! So we turned on all the lights in the house so that we could see out the back, and there was a cat sitting on our deck railing. Wait, what? The cabin. I love it. Yeah. And this coyote, coyote, however you want to say it, was like stalking back and forth of our deck railing to get to this cat. And it was like screeching at this cat. Oh my God. I thought we were about to witness a cat murder. Then something happened and it scurried away. I don't know what else was there that made a freaking coyote run away, but then the cat just chilled there for a while. And I was like, I'm not about to watch this. I'm going to sleep. And I'm pretty sure we slept with all the lights on because it was freaky. Ah uh, yes, a totally normal cabin. It's quaint. 
Are you my mummy? An old mining gas mask. The name inside it says it belongs to a miner called Billy Bates. I wasn't done inspecting in this derelict cabin. Shed? Whatever it is. Ah, yes. Totally normal pheasants hanging in a creepy ass cabin with a gas mask and chains. Okay. This is such a romantic walk. So glad we're doing this. This sex better be worth it. Oh, that deer is toast. That deer is toast. That was a death cry. What the fuck? What the? Damn. It's horrible. Gee, I don't think he's gonna make it. You don't say, Michael. Uh, I'm not gonna make it suffer. Gotta put it out of its misery. Hey, bud. Hey. I'm gonna make this quick for you, okay? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna make it quick. Like, what the I, fuck am I supposed uh, to do? I can't watch this. Okay, 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 okay. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! Mike, what, what did you do? What the fuck? It came up. Ah! 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 They don't need to open them. Car doors. What? Where? On the internet. Really? Okay. Well, this isn't the internet, Jess. Right? This is real life. And I promise you that no bear or anything else is gonna open that cabin door. I guess you're right. This cabin was so not worth it. I'm almost feeling relaxed again. Almost. Huh. Typical. Brr. 
Sure. This is not the cozy chalet I was promised, Mike. Yeah, it's a bit drafty or something, right? Well, there is a fireplace. Well, we don't need a fire to heat things up. Oh, uh, yeah, we do. Michael, I am a lady, and a lady needs a proper romantic setting. Okay. A lady would like to cuddle up with her man by a nice cozy fire bathed in atmospheric mood lighting. Right. It'll get plenty toasty once we're rubbing up against each other. My yeah. fire and mood lighting. Yes. Maybe he doesn't know how to start a fire. <laughs> that would be the ultimate irony. Not irony, but you know what I mean. That was stressful. What is happening? Ah, there we go. This will take care of the mood lighting. How much heat is this thing going to give off? All right. Logs are ready to go. Just need a match. Okay. I mean, maybe we put a couple more logs on that in there. Just saying. Hmm. Unless you want to make out with an ice sculpture, I suggest you get a fire going. Toronto. The mother bear has returned. She was enraged and attacked the merchant, but she managed to escape with her cub's pelts. A mighty eagle saw this and swooped at the merchant as he ran through the trees, but a gunshot frightened the eagle away. The merchant was leaving the forest and was gleeful, thinking of the money that would soon be his. But a great tree fell, blocking his way. He had to turn back and find another. And that is where he met the blank once more. The great spirit stopped him. Bear had its revenge. To anger the earth is to sacrifice something. The great spirit sees all. Looks like we weren't the only ones to meet the friendly neighborhood terror bears. That does not make me feel any better. Native American hunters used symbols and signs scratched on the trees or daubed onto the walls to communicate with other tribe members. Many symbols conveyed religious or mystical beliefs. Others warned of danger or offered protection, and some told of good hunting grounds. Most symbols were specific to the tribe so that used it. Right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Haha, <laughs> and will be unrecognizable to other tribes. Shown below and opposite are some symbols used by tribes in North America and Canada. A vision or dream of the future, a ward or spell protecting against protecting against evil spirits. I kind of wanted to read more of that, but somebody. Jess, look at this. Is it a fire? No, way cooler. Not about to point that at her. Fingers on the trigger. Huh? Yeah, this is a bad, this is a bad, bad, bad play. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. Right. Maybe if she had a fire going. I'll never understand what we have together. Okay. So far, I bust on the matches. Can I open this? Nope. Shit. Oh, fuck. Mike. What? Oh, crap. What? Where is it? What? What's wrong? Gone. It is gone, okay? Yes. slow down. What is gone? My freaking phone, Sherlock. Can you find it? Crap, no. I must have dropped it outside. I can't lose my phone. My parents will kill me. You can always get a new one. That's like my fourth one this year. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll have you look for it. It's got to be outside. Yeah. I don't think we want to go out there right now with the bear or whatever it is. I see the matches. <laughs> That's such a dainty way to pick them up. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you?
Nice. This will lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Hey! Bye, are you okay? What are you doing? It's, it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. But it's probably faulty wiring or something. You've got faulty wiring. So that didn't work? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Clue found. A framed photo of Hannah playing tennis. Hannah winning bronze. Alberta Invitational. What is that a clue for? Does she stay here? You can't be too careful, okay? The Kama Sutra. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. <laughs> oh, Mike. He does not want to go over here. <laughs> oh, one match. Good. Man one, fire zero. Very nice. Bravo. Uh oh. All right, my lady. What comes next? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <sighs> Bad things are going to be coming. Unintended? Okay, you perv. That's very damsel in distress. <laughs> what is that? I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna. your phone what how is it my phone I don't know it just came through the window the oh, bear threw it fuck's sake, god damn it what those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business <sighs> honey you might want to put some clothes on it's fucking cold out the fuck do you think hey! you're doing yeah, bricks! That means you! I know you're out there! The fuck are you trying to do? You wanna ruin our fun that bad? <sighs> well, guess what? You can't! You can't ruin our good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck! That's right! We are going to have sex! And it's gonna be hot! So enjoy it because I know we're going to! 
squirt the frostbite on your toes. case with Hannah's initials on the back. Hannah was wearing her glasses on the day she went missing. I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, that's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far. Huh? So, I'm confused. That made it sound like they were faking it. But before, it seemed like they genuinely were surprised because now they're like, well, should we search the library? So I don't know what the fuck is real or not real. Hmm, a wall. <laughs> Ooh, you! Fuck me, fuck, fuck. Sorry, what? The electricity is out, but there is an electric light shining from the room below the library. Okay. All you have to say is weird? Like what the, what the? That's all I got to say. It's just what the, and repeat. What the? And Holy crap. Are you okay? I think so. Oh, we got ghosts what? up in this what? joint? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Push the button, Crunk! That's what buttons were for, I guess. I know it's pull the lever, but we don't have a lever. We have a button, so we're going with it. Ah, yes. Let's go. Panel opens. That explodes. Hmm. Like in a movie right now? If we are, I hope it's a rom com. Same. We went to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house. I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is. So I'm old. thinking so we don't need to go down there. Take a look. Yeah, after you. Nah, no, I don't no, think no. so. You go. Gee, thanks. Can we get like something more than a freaking candle? I, just like a flashlight, maybe. Or I don't know, something else. Okay, hold on. Hold the phone. We're not ready yet. <laughs> what was that? What the flippity flip? That was really bizarre. Yeah, you're telling me. Why would there be a whole secret room back there with the button and the moving wall? It was just empty. Should I go back there and look at? Oh fuck. Okay, November eighth. Doctor C J R Swaff. Ham. <laughs> Dear Mr. Swaffham. Thank you for your response. It's good to know that the tribe still feel an attachment to the land here, even if we have had a few unfortunate problems. Graffiti, people sleeping in the outbuildings. This is their ancestral home, after all. I made contact with the descendants of the tribe and intend to make a donation to their elder council. Healing the wounds of the past won't be easy, but I feel it's a step in the right direction. I totally made up words there. Saw that crazy guy again. Hanging around the generator shed. Yeah, set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back. Long way. Listen, okay, I feel like I need to go back now to this other place that I missed. That I thought was the way I needed to go. But now I'm not so certain. I'm thinking we need to go back and look at this. <clears throat> I am also thinking that a donation to the council elders is not going to solve the generations of issues. 
What? Is this a panic room or something? Whoa, is this? <gasps> I will take them and bleed them like pigs and rip their soft skin off. Fucking 16 years. 16 years I waited for the pretty little Hannah and Beau. Oh. Holy cow. And now, Ash, I, I I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this, this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. Let's call now. the police right this second. Wait. Twas more. Twasn't more. <gasps> Somebody call the police. Do you think Get your phone out. After Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Okay. 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 I don't even know what to say or think or feel other than sheer panic. Well, I mean, the ghost in here has got to be friendly ghost, right? It's got to be Hannah. Or something. Oh my god, these fucking noises in here. <sighs> oh my so, god, it hasn't even um, been close to an hour yet. <laughs> I've been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? There was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. That? that was Josh. Coming from the kitchen. Josh! Josh! Oh, Josh. Oh, Hold on. Ah! Ashley! Ashley, what's going on? Do it again. Ashley! I'm gonna... Maybe kick and not use your shoulder? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? some ghost thing. We have some creepy stalker clown thing. Oh lordy. Why do you, why? Don't mind me, I'm just chilling in front of a meat hook. I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. Like. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. I don't think I've been pretending about anything. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. <laughs> 
Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. Okay. Sam. Josh kind of creeps me out a little bit. Don't know why. He just do. Matt. Give me something more challenging. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I don't have a preference here. Um. Ashley, I guess. I think I like them equally, but what was that smirk for? Josh. Easy. Chris. So tell me, in this little game you're playing so diligently, who is it that you most dislike? Uh, fuck. I don't know. I, at, uh, at this point, I think I most dislike Emily because Jessica is kind of a bitchsicle. She was the one whose idea it was for the prank on Hannah to begin with. She also was kind of annoying me last video. But Emily just seems very two-faced and at this point, at this point, it might change. And Jessica is just so far a I'm telling you how it is type of person. Emily is not not giving me that vibe. Emily seems like I'll be sweet to you to your face and then I'll do something shady to you after. So I think I dislike Emily more so at this point. A bit too bitchy for you. The lack of confidence manifest itself as overconfidence. Think about that. I suffer from that. Is that not just a little bit like? Oh, once again, Why you gotta call me out like that, Doctor Hill? Time. We'll talk again soon. Why? 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 I feel like I should stop there, but it's only been 43 minutes. But that's like I'm going to stop in an awkward spot now. So now I don't know what to do. Um, okay. I'm going to stop here for this one. It's going to be a little shorter. And then what I would like you guys to do is you have a little homework. Are you ready? Teacher light taking the stage. Your homework is to comment below and tell me, would you prefer that I stop at these nice little natural breaking points or would you prefer that I stop at the hour mark? So even if a breaking point happens now at 43 minutes, continue playing until I hit the hour mark and then stop, even if it's an awkward stop and in a weird spot. Because unfortunately what I can't do is record for longer than an hour because I got to go be a mama. So I can't really do that at least tonight, maybe in the future on some other days I can, but for tonight, I can't really do that. So let me know if this happens again, what your opinion on that would be. Would you rather a shorter video or would you rather a normal length video just stopping in awkward spots? That's your homework. It's a pretty easy assignment. I'm not giving you a length. Doesn't need to be five sentences. Although a complete sentence could be good, but I won't, I won't go that far. Just give me your thoughts in the comments. Full hour, no matter where, or stop at these nice little break points. Okay, do your homework before bed. I'll be grading it. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe <laughs> so you can get homework on more days. Hit that bell button when you do so that you don't miss any future videos. That was terrifying. My chest hurts, my stomach hurts, and I'm gonna use the baby as an excuse to stop even though she's probably fine, but yeah. Okay. Subscribe. Hit that bell button. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm terrified. Have a great night because I'm sure not going to sleep tonight. Okay. Bye.